us. I've got Sarah Neufeld with us today. She is a nurse here in Steinbach, and uh, we just wanted to be able to put a bit of a face to what folks were going through through this pandemic. Can you just tell us a little bit about us, a little bit about you, um, who you are, your family, where you work, what work, uh, what work is like for you? I am married to Matt Neufeld. He's here from Steinbach. I grew up just north of Ida in the bush. Loved it. Loved growing up in the country. We have three daughters. Some are Sophie and Emma. Um, Ifri has been our home church now for 13 years. And I've also been a nurse here for 13 years. What does that work look like in the midst of a global pandemic? Yes, well, as you heard, I work in the ER. So frontline, right? So we kind of see the very entrance of all this respiratory um, sickness. Um, we are full scale preparing for the pandemic here in the ER in Steinbach. We have been doing weekly simulations on how to intubate COVID patients, which has brought with it kind of a, a hum of excitement, but also a hum of fear is that's a very high risk exposure procedure. And then just the training on how to care for these respiratory patients. You wrote a terrific blog, which I actually really um, appreciated seeing what you had written. Um, and there's a quote that I want to read to you, and I would just love to have you unpack it a little bit, sort of what your heart was behind that. It says, so these are Sarah's words, not mine. Um, so I need to be honest with myself. I do fear the virus. I am human, and I'm not, if I am not careful, I get caught up in the anxiety of the negative news, the death and the infections of COVID-19. But this is where I have to stop and recenter. I do not have to fear death. When my ending comes, only God knows when that is. I do not have to fear. Okay, so generally as a person, I am an encourager and a cheerleader. But as, as I was getting caught up in the changes at work, um, homeschooling my children, watching the news, I was just overcome by this just kind of fear. So what I did is I went to the book of Daniel. Um, and the very first verses that I found when I first went to Daniel really caught me. Praise the name of God forever and ever, for he alone has all wisdom and power. He determines the course of world events. That's found in Daniel chapter 2. He determines the course of world events. God knew COVID-19 was coming. So then I went and I thought... Of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, back in Daniel chapter 3, they actually stood and looked the king in the face um, and said, no, we won't serve you. I will walk into fire knowing that my God is good. And I'm like, if they can walk into fire knowing their God is good, I can walk into the ER in the midst of a pandemic knowing that my God is good. I'm th I asked this question as, as a parent of five kids. How do you like? How do you and Matt sort of help and encourage and walk your your own family, your own your own girls through this? We pray against this virus. We pray protection over our family, neighbors, community of Steinbach, and all of our friends. And that is one way they feel that they are helping in this. But it also kind of puts it into perspective for them that even in their young years, that God is in control of this. How do you feel that Jesus is leading you specifically? A broad range of healthcare aides, doctors, nurses, uh, housekeepers, you know, all of them. We all work as a team. Um, one of them just started praying against the virus in Jesus' name in the break room. Mm. And, and that genuinely just got me. Um, and another one, we had just finished an intubation simulation training and two of us, three of us are walking out, another nurse that goes to EFRI, and we all looked at each other feeling heavy and she goes, you know what, I just know that Jesus has this mm. and he's in this. I was like, wow, just to be held up by faith like that in my coworkers has really spoken to me, but also built my own faith and my own belief. Just a massive thank you that you guys are willing to go out every single day and put your lives on the line and at risk for this. How can we be praying for healthcare workers right now? Pray for protection over our staff, all of them. That is a fear. You know, we do fear bringing this home, but also pray for encouragement. 
if or when it hits, that's going to be a massive amount of stress on staff. So just pray for encouragement. Um, pray for support and unity and teamwork. Thank you so much, Sarah, for your time. Thank you for the words that you had on your blog and uh, just the way that you're encouraging so many in the community. So we appreciate you and we're so thankful for you.